Welcome to Story Station, episode 25. In this episode, you can learn about the Islamic holiday, Muharram. Hope you enjoy it! Muharram is the Islamic New Year, or Hijra, and is celebrated on the first day of the month Muharram. Hijra is celebrated as New Year, as it represents Muhammad's journey from Mecca to Medina in 622 AD. Even though there aren't any specific rituals you have to do on Hijra, Muslims like to use it as a time to reflect and anticipate the coming year. In the Islamic religion, there are four sacred months. Muharram is one of those four months, and it means forbidden, forbidden from warfare and fighting. This holiday is part of the Islamic lunar calendar that's based on the moon instead of the sun, and it usually falls around August. This year, in 2020, it's on August 20th. Muslims also observe the 10th day of Muharram, known as the Day of Ashura. While Ashura means different things to the two main groups of Islam, the Sunni and the Shia, it is still one of the very important holidays in the Islamic religion. For Sunni Muslims, Ashura is a holiday of reflection and peace. On this day, they celebrate Moses liberating the Israelites from Egypt when Moses parts the Red Sea so they could cross. On this day, many maintain silence and fasting for the whole day. If they choose not to fast, they'll eat a dessert called Ashur, or Noah's pudding, because Ashura is also the day that Noah left his ark after the Genesis flood ended. For Shia Muslims, Ashura is a much more solemn holiday, commemorating the death of Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of Muhammad, during the War of Karbala in 680 AD. In memory of him, Shia Muslims across the globe participate in various activities that include reading the text called Ziyarat Ashura, which is about Hussein ibn Ali, reenacting the War of Karbala, and having parades wearing black clothes and beating their chest. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you for listening to Story Station. We are adding stories as frequently as possible, so check back often. We would love to hear your feedback and any questions you may have. Thank you.